Hi guys, uh, in this uh, video I'm going to explain to you how um, race car or Formula 1 wings operate. Uh, I've got here, I, I did two simple drawings of a wing, that's a side view of that wing and that's a front view. And if you're looking at a side view, if I, you've got, when a car is traveling, the air is coming like that. And what happens, once the air hit, hits that wing, it's gonna, uh, part of the air is going to go above the wing and part of the air is going to travel below the wing. Now as you can see the, uh, the, the distance that air has to travel below the wing is greater than the distance the air has to travel above the wing. Fact is both air particles have to meet here behind the wing simultaneously. That means that the part of the air traveling underneath the wing has to travel much faster than that part because that part has to uh, um, uh, has to has to traverse a much greater distance. That is why the pressure below below the wing is much is much lower than the pressure above the wing. That's why you've got above the wing you've got a high pressure area, and below the wing you've got a low pressure area. This difference causes this downforce effect. Basically, the air is pressing the car on the ground. Now what, is that, what does that do? When the car turns and turns, that, that downforce, that pressure on the car through the air is hindering the car from sliding outside of the turn. It stays, it stays like fixed on the ground. And the more downforce you got, the faster you can go into turns. Because the only limit you have when going through a turn is uh, avoiding uh, having that car slide out of the turn so the more so you need some 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 sort of uh, like a magnet uh, holding you to the to the to the ground and that magnet is this downforce and the more downforce you got the more stable your car is in turns now downforce however comes at a price I mean you can add downforce by making that angle steeper you can have that wing for instance go something like that but the, the, the wing by itself is not only generating downforce, it's also generating here in this area some turbulences, it's what they call drag. And this drag, what this drag does, just like the name says, it drags down your speed. So you can't travel as, as fast as when you have got no wing. Your straight line speed is re reduced by that wing. And the steeper that wing is, the more, the more drag you generate. That means your straight line speed is going to be reduced. So you always have to balance between downforce and drag. Um, another thing about, about wings is looking at the front view. Above the wing you've got this high pressure. I'll just write it down. P high. And below the wing you've got the P low. P low pressure. And when you've got a differential like that, there's a risk that air leaks from the high pressure into the low pressure which uh, reduces the performance of the wing. That's why what they do in, in racing car wings and as well in airplane wings, you have these side plates. I'm just going to, you have them both, side action, both sides actually. I'm just going to draw on one side. So what that means, that here, you, you don't have this leakage from the high pressure area into the low pressure area, like here. And that's why you've got these side plates on both sides of the wing in order to, 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 to hinder that. Another thing what you see in, in, uh, in racing cars is they have got some, you've got this main wing here and you've got like some small, I'm just gonna wait, I'm just gonna change colors so you can see that better. Let me take red. Yeah, red sounds good. Oh, wait a minute, where's red, red? Now we got it. Great. Now, They've got some small tab here, which is basically a small mini wing behind the, the big wing. And from front view, it looks like that. Another small wing here. And that allows you to adjust that angle to generate more downforce and not producing drag because you're not shifting the whole big wing to a steeper angle but only this small tab here. Sometimes you see these, they're called gurney flaps. Gurney, 
wait, I'll just write it here. Gurney flaps. These are small adjustable wings which allow you to, to, to adjust the amount of downforce your wing is producing. But remember, end effect is like that. The car, the car, the, the whole concept of, the, of, the, of those wings is to produce this downforce. Because this downforce keeps the tires fixed on the ground. The more downforce you got, the more grip you've got. The more grip you've got, the warmer your tires get. That means your, your car is stuck like chewing gum on the road. That means it can't slide as easily as a car without wings. It goes much faster into turns. And basically those car wings are basically the same as those airplane wings, just in reverse. An airplane wing has got the long end on top and the short end on the bottom. So basically with air, uh, airplane wings, you've got the low pressure up here and the high pressure down here. And it's not downforce they're generating, but lift. That's what lift. Well, that's what lifting. Well, that's what's lifting the, the the planes up. Whereas in racing cars, you have the downforce pressing the the cars down on the ground.